How's it going guys? This is a video that I definitely feel I owe to you. As many of you know, I have rejoined the Guggen Squad seemingly out of nowhere, have not collaborated even once with those guys since I left, which is why I'm gonna make this video explaining everything from the very beginning. A little bit out of breath, doing some training out here. I am actually having a boxing match with one of the members in two months. So that's gonna be interesting. Anyways, what we're gonna do in this video, no cuts, no editing, just me talking to you. I'm gonna explain absolutely everything. And there's a lot of people out at this park right now. So you know what, we're gonna walk down to somewhere a little more secluded. So it's slightly less awkward for me. All right, here we go guys. Found a little nook in the woods. I don't think anyone's gonna come through here. So now it's just you and I. So let's get things started. What is the Guggen Squad exactly? Well, I used to be a member, as I've said, and this is actually the first shirt we've ever made. So let me go ahead and show you the back of it. Ah. Okay, jeez. All right, great video right now, no cuts. There we go. Oh, it's sweaty. But you can see our first shirt, probably not the best. All five of us are on here. Not much to be said about that. Basically, we're starting from the beginning. Back in 2015, August 2015, when I went full-time as a fishing YouTuber, that's when a lot of fishermen on YouTube started popping off and really getting a lot of exposure. <sighs> then what happened was, we're good now. <sighs> what happened was, in 2016, that's when um, we all started hanging out with each other and uh, collaborating, making videos. And some of the top five anglers at the time, or top five YouTube fishermen at the time, some of them, not all of them, it was uh, myself, John B., Alex Perrick, Andrew Flair, and Rob Turkla. Us five, we're doing a lot of collaborations together. And one of us said, you know what? We should form a team and think of a name for it. So, um, you know, we had a group chat and we're thinking of names and someone's like, you know what? No one takes YouTube fishermen seriously. So we should kind of make a play on that and think of a name that is going to be fun and funny because that's what, I mean, there's two, uh, back in the day, basically pro fishermen was where all the hype was and YouTube fishermen were kind of thought of, thought of as a joke. So that's how the name, Goog a, a Guggen fisherman, as many of you know, is an angler who's not very good at fishing who really doesn't know what they're doing. So we decided to make fun of that a little bit and we called ourselves the Guggen Squad, as you see right here. So fast forward, things are going great. Everyone is just popping off, getting tons of views and subs. Cause back in the day, if you had 100,000 subs, that was like, you're near the top. That, that was like at the top of the top back, in, that was in uh, 20, 2016. So we collabed, did a ton of stuff together, had a ton of fun. Then in 2017, the, the squad had another idea. They're like, you know what? We should all move to the same place, live in one house and just make a ton of awesome content 24 seven. And that's when we had a deal, a great deal, mind you, with Mystery Tackle Box that all five of us would be moving into the MTB crib. I think the, that's what it was called back in the day. Uh, MTB crib in Texas. That was at the beginning of 2017. And everyone was in, everyone was all for it. And I said I was in, I was all for it. So I. I mean, everyone thought that everyone was in 100%. And the thing that I didn't, the thing that I did not tell the guys, which in retrospect, I should have been completely honest from the very beginning, I wasn't, that's completely my fault. I said, um, right before we were about to close the deal, I went in there and I was like, you know what guys, um, I can't do this deal. I don't think it's a good idea. And basically at the last moment, I backed out. So I never told the guys the real reason why I backed out, it was, family reason is family issues I just didn't want to move and I didn't think it'd be good for my then girl well she's my wife now but I didn't I just knew it wouldn't be wouldn't have been the right fit for anyone I mean all both our families are here uh, family is very important to me to her and I just didn't think it was a good idea so what I ended up doing is I made up some excuse about saying that it just was not the right deal it was not going to be worth it so I mean that's what I went with and understandably all the guys were extremely upset some of them more upset than others and basically a big fight ensued and it basically boiled down to like an ultimatum I said I'm not moving to Texas and they said well if you're not gonna move then 
I mean, you can't be part of the squad. So uh, push came to shove. And at the end of the day, I just said, you know what? I'm just going to leave the squad then. Um, I said, we're going to part ways here. Um, best of luck to you guys. And that was it. That was in February of 2017. 26, 2017. Yep, February 2017. That's when the contract was about to go down. That's when I parted ways with the guys. And from 27, February 2017 all the way up to, um, what are we in? Uh, September? All the way up to September of 2019, we basically each did our own thing I mean I feel like I've done pretty well for myself I've got over a million subs uh, had a ton of fun a lot of great experiences then they have obviously done amazing they've got an awesome brand they've done tons of stuff with baits selling things online uh, selling them at Dick's Walmart Shields uh, all types of outdoor type shops so each of us were successful in our own way and even if I were to go back again I mean, I probably would have done things probably exactly the same because I mean, I'm extremely happy where I'm at now and they're obviously very happy where they're at. But it all comes down to how did this reconnection, re-collaboration come about? So even though I did not collaborate with any of them over these past two and a half years, I have been texting them. You know, for the first like, you know, eight, 10, 12 months or so, we didn't really talk very much uh, or text or anything, but after that, um, anytime something big happened, I would, you know, I would text them or they would text me. Um, for example, when uh, Lake Fork guy, you know, had his brain tumor, Willis, immediately, as soon as that happened, I texted him telling him he was going to be in my prayers, I wishing him a full recovery. And then I helped him. He was having some issues with health insurance. So I helped him sell some of his uh, Make Every Last Cast Count shirts, you know, which is raising money to help for his medical care. So hopefully I helped him sell some shirts. Um, then, you know, when I had my baby, of course, you know, they, they texted me congratulating me, uh, big things like that. And to be honest, even when they, they wanted to include me a lot earlier than when they did now, uh, when they reopened Guggen HQ, they, uh, actually invited me out to the grand opening. And honestly, I would have gone, but that's when my son was very, very young. And, you know, my wife wasn't quite adjusted to being able to take care of him on her own. So I couldn't leave, had to take care of my family. And uh, what happened was, you know, um, fast forward a little bit, and the beginning of last month, um, you know, uh, Rob called me. And he's like, he's like, hey, Mike, uh, you know, we, the guys and I were thinking, and he just called me and said, we want you back in the squad. And immediately, all I said was like, uh, first thing I said, I was like, dude, I appreciate the offer. I said, uh, what would you guys need for me to do? So I was implying that would I need to move to Texas? He said, you know what? Just come down once a month or so, make some videos with us, um, help us promote our brand, and that's it. And you know, that was, as soon as he said that, in my mind, I'm like, I'm in. As simple as that. I mean, had this gone down two and a half years ago, then I would have stayed with the squad if I wasn't, didn't have to move all the way to Texas. So this is like the best case scenario for me. Um, I mean, I've been super, super fortunate that they were, they reached out. I mean, honestly, if they had reached out a year and a half ago, Two, even two years ago, had they reached out and said the exact same thing they said right now, I would have been in. The reason why is because, you know, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I'm kind of an introvert, even though it doesn't seem like it. I don't have many friends. In, in, in these last two and a half years, let me tell you guys, you see me fish with a few friends here and there in videos, but outside of that, I have not hung out with any friends less than three times. I can think of three times when I hung out with some friends all three times we're to play ping pong. Um, other than that, I just don't hang out with anyone. I'm not particularly good, I guess. At, I mean, I'm very busy, first of all, but I just, I don't know. I guess if I have free time, I'd rather spend it by myself. But basically, this opportunity was amazing because those group of guys were fishing with them were some of the best times I've ever had. And all I can say is that, oh, here's what, oh. Sorry, lost my train of thought for a second. All I can say is that this past week, I've uh, Guggen Week was last week, I was hanging out with them. This past week was some of the most fun that I've had in the last two and a half years. Yes, we were working and filming, but honestly, to get the chance to hang out with the guys again, just, you know, talk around, mess around a little bit, have a lot of fun, I, I honestly had a blast, and I can't wait to do that every single month. You know, a lot of you are probably thinking, I mean, I saw some, I read a lot of your comments on what's going down. 
a lot of most of you guys are extremely happy that we're all back together again some of you guys are a little bit skeptical you think you know I'm doing it for the money honestly I'm not doing it for the money I do extremely well on my own I'm very blessed to be able to be be a YouTube fisherman for a living to support my family doing that it's unbelievable I never thought I'd be here right now but I mean uh, I mean you know I'm gonna make some more money hanging with them that's the truth of it but I mean you look at my lifestyle I don't have a boat I have a you know I've been driving the same car for four years I live in a town home I don't I'm to me money is not very important I live a modest lifestyle to me life's all about having fun and what's the most fun to me is going out fishing enjoying the great outdoors that's what I enjoy the most I also enjoy playing sports and gaming once in a while when I have time and all those hobbies that I have don't cost very much money I don't I've never been to a bar in my life I don't drink I don't do I don't have any expensive hobbies I mean fishing can be expensive but fortunately I get many of my stuff a lot of my stuff for free which is very lucky so you know I mean when Rob called me he actually said he was like you know what uh, this is, could be a big opportunity uh, for you you know we can get you a boat we can get you a truck we can uh, get you a truck deal I, I was like I was like honestly that's great I mean that's very uh, very generous of you I'm not interested in those types of I'm not interested in those I just want to just want to fish with you guys again and uh, it was just I mean so far it's been super freaking awesome so here we are I guess I'm back in the Guggen squad we're gonna be making videos once again and hopefully it's gonna be freaking awesome let me think is there anything else I want to say right now uh, am I missing anything else hmm Hmm, yeah, I think I covered just about everything. Hmm. Well, if I missed anything, I'll put it down in the comments. Let me show you guys before we head out the reason. Let me show you why I'm rejoining and let me show you about all the fun times we had in the past, some of the highlights, and hopefully we're gonna have a heck of a lot more fun in the future. Oh, there's a fish. Yeah. There we go. Got the first one here. Yeah, it's a good fish. Oh my gosh! Oh! Oh my, oh my gosh, my third cast! Oh, my oh, my oh shit! Oh my god! Dude. It is so big! Oh my god, come here! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh shit! Oh dude, okay, okay. Oh, there we go, we got him, we got him, we got him, we got him, we got him! Let's go! Let's go! Oh my god! Are you kidding me? Look at that freaking bucket mouth! Well, this is gonna be the last cast here in pond number one. That catfish destroyed this bait. We're gonna be walking, I think, maybe one more pond and search for this Goliath grouper that we've been searching for in the pond. Mike is showing me, oh my God, I know. Oh my God, yes. Dude, last, yes. You got one? Oh is it big? Is it big? Yes. Oh my. Oh! Oh my gosh! For the pod! We were leaving! Oh, the spinnerbait! Oh! Oh my god! Dude! Oh my god, it's a freaking pig! Get, get, oh, get him in! Get him in! Get him! Ah! Ah! Let's go! Let's go! Look at that fish! Boom, boom, boom! baby! Let's go! Holy shit! Oh my freaking god! My last cast! What? No way! Oh! This guy out here. Hey guys, what's going on? I'm uh, gonna be fishing today. Probably not gonna catch anything, but I'm gonna attempt to catch a bass today. Stay tuned. Holy crap, dude. You broke one of your rod tips, oh man. My God. Oh my gosh. Classic AP over here, guys. What rod is that? Oh, the, of course, that Dobbins. Oh my God! Dobbins! What the heck? Oh my, dude! Oh. <laughs> Are you kidding me, dude? Yes! <laughs> Wait, what? What was the biggest fish you caught today? Woo! Wait, what was the biggest fish you caught all day? Five and a half. Oh, you caught a five and a half. Woo! <laughs> yes! <laughs> All right, guys, you're about to witness the most epic bass fishing tournament of your entire lives. Oh, dude, right in front of me, right in front of me. 
I baited the tangled bait. Oh, it's. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. He ate the tangled bait. He attacked the tangled bait. Dude, that's a giant. Oh, my God. Oh, did you see that? Did you see that? Dude, get in there. Get in there. Oh, I got him. 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 It's a big fish. Nice, man. Nice. Oh, yeah. That's, that's what I'm talking big, about. Boy, that's what I'm talking about. I get back oh, out there. Oh, dude, look at this. This is a five pounder. 5.42. 5.42. 5.42. All right, five pounder. Five pounder. Let go. Getting another one. Five pounder. All right, we'll get back in there. Get back in there. All right, number three, guys. Number three for us. Oh my god. This one. Get out there. Like, three point. Turn around. Three point three five. Three point three five. Three point three five. Look at back out there. Oh my god. Did you that fish jumped out of the water for that? Yeah, well. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Oh, he lost it! He lost it! What happened? What happened? Ah, that was a 10 pounder! Oh man! Oh, that was a 10 pounder! Relax, relax, relax. You're an idiot. Dude. That was a 10 pounder. What were you doing? That was a 10 pounder. You, you should have grabbed him. You're kidding me, dude. Are you insane? Don't blame that on me. You need to calm down. Don't blame that on me at all. That was not my fault. Get up and fish. Get up and fish. You knew that was, you knew what you did was dumb. I didn't do anything. You he literally lift. jumped. You I didn't lift. lift him there. Okay, so there's nothing I could have done there. You, you know that. Boom. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. You're crazy, dude. There's nothing I could have done. Flair and Rob, it, it's, it's, it's. It's game time. We have to really grind here. Oh, that's game time. It's game time, baby. No, he's fine. I got him. I got him. Dude, it's a six foot rod. Ah, ah, ah. Dude, it's a big one. It's a giant. Bring it over. Dude, it's a freaking giant, man. Get up your dragon, but you're the one who sounds strange. Get him. Let's go. Dude, look at that fish. Dude, that might be a PB. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Gotta got wait on this puppy. Look at that. Oh! Oh! 6.35. There you go, homie. Dude, Team Asian Invasion just took the lead. <laughs> Let it go. What you guys got? 49.86. Oh did you guys do it? Do we do it? Yeah, they got 55.38. 55.38. Do you want to cod those fish? Ooh. Can I will? <laughs> Taking a nap. Look what he's wearing. Like, are you going to a high school dance or something like that, dude? Threw his rod down. He lost the 10-pounder. He's giving up. The one hour time limit. That's fair. Uh, dude. So I, ate food was? I didn't do that purpose. All right, well, let me just check out the point. I won't go all the way. Let me just fish a little bit. Dude. You guys would be a little pussies. That's a good one. It's a good fish. It's a good fish. Good fish. God. God. It's a good fish. It's a good fish. It's a good fish. How big is it? Get out of my face, dude. Is it a giant? It's a giant. Is that a bass? Yeah, it's a bass. It's a, it's a carp. Dude, bro. screw it's off, you guys. It's a freaking. Oh, dude. Look at it's that. A giant bass. It came off. No! What's right there? God damn it. No! God! Are you kidding me? That was that big. That was not a 10 pounder. That was a legit 10 pounder. What the f dude? Are you kidding me? That was a big one.